LNURL withdraw is part of the LNURL spec and it's the ability to be able to scan a QR code and then withdraw sets out. So traditionally with Lightning you have to create an invoice and then pay the invoice and the person gets the sats. So in order for me to be able to get sats I'd have to generate an invoice, they'd have to scan the QR code and then pay my invoice. So LNURL withdraw allows you to reverse that so I can scan a QR code and then instantly withdraw the sats out. Um, and in LNBits we have a nice extension called LNURLW which allows you to do this nice and easily. Um, so I'm going to enable it in extensions, open it, and we have two options, quick vouchers or advanced withdrawal links. I'm going to go for quick vouchers first, select the wallet you want to withdraw from, um, and then the amount per withdraw. So with LNURW we allowed you to make one sort of withdraw instance and then you can have multiple withdrawals from that one instance if you want. So we're going to say you can withdraw 20 sats and then number of vouchers will say 5 vouchers and then we'll create the vouchers. Now we get some little buttons here, we've got an eye so we'll click on that and that's just to view the LNURL withdraw. So now if I scan that, you'll say do I want to withdraw the 20 sats, I'll say OK and then I should, there we are, I get my 20 sats, it's pretty sweet. Um, there is a uh, shareable link button here as well, um, and you can just copy the LNURL and you know, paste it into something like LNTXBot for example. And there's also a print button here, so if you click on the little print button, what do we get? We get a printable page, so this could be stickers um, for you know withdrawals, you want to sort of stick around your local town, and people could go up to them and scan them and get some free sats. With the quick vouchers, each one of these QR codes is different, um, but there is a way uh, with the more advanced vouchers that you can make have the same QR code for all the withdrawals. Uh, this is just to bypass somebody getting one of these QR codes and then repeatedly hitting it. Uh, so you could, yeah, you could print that out and you could uh, have some fun with that. Um, so the other link is an embeddable image. So if we click on this little embeddable image here, this is literally just a. Um, uh, uh, an SVG which is generated on the fly so you can take this and embed this in an email um, and even if uh, so like I've just hit the um, this withdrawal once so one of those QR codes has been eaten up and now we've got a fresh QR code and then if I hit this QR code again and I opened it again you would end up with a fresh QR code so you could embed this in something and it would kind of change on the fly which is pretty cool and what else have we got and we've got our shareable link here so this is a link a web link which you can actually give out to somebody over the internet and say here you go here's um, an LNURL withdraw for some sats um, and if they you know take the money out and then refresh they should be able to then get another withdraw from the QR code um, but quite often people just they, they create one LNURL withdraw just to you know give someone uh, sats back um, or to uh, pay someone for something so um, it's not so often that people actually use like multiple withdrawals. Anyway, we can create an advanced withdrawal here. So if we select a wallet, and then we'll call the link title um, giveaway uh, minimum withdrawal. So we can actually set here how much we want people to be able to withdraw as a minimum. Uh, I'm going to say 50 sats. And then for the maximum, uh, just to keep things simple, I'm going to say 50 sats again. And I'm not going to give them the choice. But if you change that to say 100 sats, then in the wallet they'll have to select uh, an amount. The amount of uses, I'm just going to make one use for this uh, uh, withdraw. Actually, no, I'm going to make uh, four uses. Time between withdrawals, I'm going to say 30 seconds between each withdrawal. Do I want to use unique uh, QR codes for each one? No, I don't. That's what I did with the quick vouchers. I'm just going to create the withdrawal link. So now, this uh, LNURL withdrawal will stay the same, um, and we can hit it multiple times uh, which has some use cases as well. So if I scan that, press OK. Oh, it's telling me to wait 16 seconds. Okay, so that 30 second counter is already started. So if I wait 16 seconds, it's probably been about 16 seconds, isn't it, surely? What do we reckon? Should we press OK? Oh, wait one second, look at that. Okay, <laughs> press OK. There we go. I get the sats, I get my 50 sats, and if I scan it again, it's going to make me wait another 30 seconds. Okay, 
Um, as always, this extension, because it is very useful, say if you're making a piece of hardware like a ATM, for example. Um, and in fact, that's partly why what motivated me to start Allen Bits was to be able to have different wallets uh, for different applications, and then Allen UI withdrawal just really helps that as well. So if you have an ATM, you can very easily go into the API info here, and then you can you know create a withdrawal link. You can get the withdrawal link check. Uh, how many withdrawals are on there um, so you know the way a lot of ATMs work is you put the coins in and then it gives you an annual withdrawal you scan it and you get the money back or it could be that you're in a shop and instead of giving change to people you print out a nice receipt which has the little you know QR code on and they can get their change through SATs um, and that's it really so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you again